Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. My name is Tony and this is going to be your May Money Career reading. This reading is for anyone that has a placement in the sign of Aries, such as Ascendant, Sun or Moon. Also, please be aware, it's a general reading. Take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest behind. In this reading, I'm actually going to be looking at all possibilities for you when it comes to your money, when it comes to money security, possibilities to make more money, the general overlook for your finances and the ability to grow them areas. So let's have a look what May has in store for you. And the general energy for your period is Page of Cups. This is indication of uh, new, exciting news to do with your money, to do with your career, opportunities to make more money with a lot of potential in them, starting from something that might look innocent, young, or um, let's say not so much uh, um, significant, but yet. Let's see if this is going to be the case. And so, the first card that you have is Queen of Pentacles in an upright position. Second one is Ace of Swords in an upright position, Aries. And then, third one is Seven of Wands also in an upright position. Bottom of the deck, and for your right here, right now position, Aries, it's the Page of Swords. Month of May finds you with uh, an information that it's not going through, something that you might have ex expected as a development or a new insight that is just not happening. At the same time, the month is influenced by news about some new project that might be appearing or something that uh, comes out of nowhere, out of the blue. It's definitely not what you are expecting in terms of money, career, or uh, let's say business. Because pages are usually messages, but uh, they're also indication of ideas, emotional, um, new, exciting um, news or developments. And in this case, what you expect is not happening, but something new is opening for you. And then, straight to the center of your reading areas, you have the Ace of Swords in upright position, together with the Queen of Pentacles in upright position and the Seven of Wands in upright position. What does this mean? Well, definitely whatever you have worked on or you are mm, using your intuition to um, guide you in a situation without enough information or without enough knowledge well a breakthrough is coming in this month for you areas the center of your reading for in my spread indicates middle of the month middle of the month for you is going to be a breakthrough situation that is going to Point your attention to what is working in order for you to get the highest potential that there is. And um, just by coincidence, as always, right in the middle of, this, of the month, around 17th of May, planet of uh, expansion, good fortune, the benefic Jupiter is changing signs and it's moving out of your sign areas. And this is important for the ones of you that are having ascendant in areas well all you areas rising planet of expansion good fortune great developments it's actually entering your second house of the money that you make with the work that you do with the business that you own you know the money that you make your own money so to speak so they are in your second house and first message for you, Aries, be careful at the beginning of May and uh, probably you're going to get into this reading earlier than uh, 1st of May. So 
wait up till 17th of May because there is going to be a development that is going to show you where you stand exactly in order to get whatever you desire to get in your money career area a new job an opportunity to apply for a new um, let's say occupation in a different field whatever the change just be aware that middle of the month and after that is going to be much more beneficial to you when it comes to make money decisions decisions about cutting ties with what you no longer want to see around in your financial security sector so to speak in your career in your profession and then you're gonna have the upper hand or so to speak the benefit of being able to really protect what you will consider important and you're gonna get inspired to recognize all over again on top of a previous not happening not reaching you certain certain kind of information certain certain kind of um, good news or good development something that has the let's say um, the influence over you so second half of the month is much better for you when it comes to money career and um, you know occupation work whatever you want to be dealing with in order to improve your money to develop it to make it more secure and uh, first month of per first part of the month is actually my recommendation for you areas since there is going to be a breakthrough more to the 17 18 and so on in the month of may queen of pentacles it's here to make sure that you audit your finances in the best way possible this is card of virgo it's talking about one that it's really careful with their money in order that they make sure that the expenses are lower than the income checking their books checking their mm, credits checking everything that needs to be checked which brings me to you know the backwards story so to speak and it is if something is not happening not uh, going through as you expecting it to do and it might be an information an invitation an offer um, proposal for business either way it's an informational uh, thing that it's not happening for you in the beginning of the month it's maybe because you haven't to taken care of um, your finances your ability to be um, reacting appropriately to whatever situation might be coming or not coming your way either way this is a significant card because in order for you to take opportunity of this aha moment of this realization where exactly is that you stand and uh, to benefit out of this position you need to do your homework you need to see your taxes for example uh, any money that you own loans from friends maybe um, some people owe you money this needs to be in check because also you will have an opportunity in the middle of the month to cut what is not aligning with this new emotional approach that you're gonna have with uh, much more prosperity in mind I believe that uh, there is going to be a switch of plans for you in the middle of the month and something that was not going your way as you were expecting it is going to be actually given a green light but it's gonna come after a realization after you understanding in a brand new way much more realistic and much more mm, supported by the circumstances that are going to be presenting this opportunity for you and then things are getting interesting because seven of wands also indicates you being stronger and uh, well defended in the business money area which means whatever was important for you to uh, put you know uh, in the real world manifest it make it happen second half of may it's much more appropriate for you to do so and then you're gonna have the advantage of uh, um, bringing it to the world protecting it and helping it grow so to speak and it's something that uh, you most likely 
hold dear to yourself. Don't get me wrong. This might be that you already have a company and you have a product, for example, but uh, you were expecting certain information to do with how to launch it or how to open a, a new category of products if the product that you already have is not doing so well. Well, this is not happening, but something new might be appearing that is going to give you the opportunity to check, uh, for example, if you are still on that page, how much money you have to uh, advertise the product that you have, or you get the understanding that there is a new potential in a new um, niche that you can actually offer a new product, then you realize that instead of you supporting something that is not happening, you might decide to put this extra money because you check your books, you saw you have, you know, certain amount that can help you to support, to promote this new category of products or this new product or to expand the impact of a product that you already have. I'm just giving you an example. This is not necessarily for you to happen. It's a general reading. You need to be aware of how the energies are moving for you in this sector. In this case, you're going to be having an opportunity to recognize much better, higher and um, prosperous opportunity after the middle of the month and then act on it with uh, the support of uh, circumstances and conditions around you to be more successful. So there might be a switch of plans for you when it comes to, for example, if you wanted to find a new job in a certain area, but then you didn't get the needed, you know, necessary, you know, green light as information coming your way and you decide to change your career in a different field. And then you realize at some point in the middle, around the middle of the month, something extra that you didn't realize before. And then you act and move to another field, for example. It might be something like that. Let's see what else is that Arius needs to know about money and career in the month of May 2023. Just to, um, you know, finish with the information about Jupiter. Actually, Jupiter is going to stay for Arius rising in the money area, so to speak, second house up till the middle of May 2024. So Aries, you really are probably the most benefited sign when it comes to uh, the money that you make with the work that you do, with the business that you own, with the career that you run for a year starting middle of May. And now back to this particular spread. Page of Cups is clarified by Ten of Wands. Queen of Pentacles is being clarified by the Emperor in reverse. Then Ace of Swords is clarified by Three of Pentacles in reverse. And another page. Page of Wands is clarifying the Seven of Wands in upright position. And your final outcome for this period areas is actually the world in reverse. So. Arius, you are a warrior sign, you know how to deal with pressure, and I believe the certain pressure is going to be presented for you in the whole period of the month of May. And it's not a surprise after two eclipses uh, happening right before that, the 20th of April, new moon, solar eclipse happening on the 20 degrees in Aries and then the 14 degrees lunar Scorpio eclipse happening around 5th or 6th of May. Well, this is a serious shakeup for all of us and in all areas, but it's going to be bringing additional pressure to your money career field. Just be aware, it's the end of it. And even on a, if you on a mundane level in everyday life, you don't get to feel it because you have the world in reverse. You are finishing a very, let's say, stagnated period, a longer period. And I am on Aries rising, and I have to tell you that Jupiter in the sign of Aries wasn't so beneficial for me at all. It gave me the, you know the push of um, do that, grow, blah, blah, blah. 
but really I read my cards and my I read my astrological card and there was nothing extra except the push coming from Jupiter and in fact I utilized this energy to really close down things from the past that were no longer serving me and the process is continuing probably till June but I just wanted to mention that uh, the fact that we had Jupiter in the first house wasn't so beneficial after all it wasn't on a financial level so to speak so I hope that now in the second house of income actually it it, it do better support than what it did in the sign of Aries. The world as an outcome for you, Aries, indicates that on a mundane level you won't feel the very end or the finish line. It's not going to be anywhere for you close to, you know, to pass. But this doesn't mean that there is not going to be great developments for you in this period because when it comes to you taking care of your nitty-gritty, what comes into your pocket, what gets out of your pocket, you haven't done the best job. And it's clarified by the Emperor. This means no great strategy, no great vision, no you know significant, uh, um, and not only significant, but wise approach to things. The Emperor clarifying the uh, queen of uh, pentacles it's literally saying Arius, it's not time for you to go big to expand your horizon so much so to speak in this period but get to the nitty-gritty instead of you acting like the great leader the emperor of your financial financial success and security go back to the virgo approach and really check your accounts savings how much money you make how much money you're gonna be making how much expenses you have how much expenses you're going to be having let's say by the end of the year so to speak because something is not aligning here that's what i'm trying to say and this um let's say um hmm, the right world the, the right word is nurturing your financial situation is advised on top of any great idea on top of any huge project that you might want to start you want to invest in you want to put into the world and then this new breakthrough moment in a way is gonna leave you uh, alone in terms of you're not gonna find the people to help you right away there might be around they might be still available but with this energy with the reverse energy of the three of pentacles it's not going to present itself, at least not in the middle of the month, at least not in the month of May. The fact that it's present in your reading on top of this breakthrough moment, this new realization about a higher, better, stronger potential, it's still evident, but you most likely are going to be, uh, you know, waiting a little bit, or it's not really this period when you're going to experience this as the same thing can be, uh, you know, mentioned about this great plan, this great strategy that is not available for you in May. I'm not saying that it's not going to be happening at all. I am saying at the beginning of May, it's not the right time for you to move forward with any big steps, any big moves, any big investments or dramatic changes of, uh, you know, um, to do with you going big strong wild because emperor is in reverse and this is your energy you are not the best leader of your security and financial prosperity at the beginning of the month but although help is not available for you right when you have your aha moment this means that you might have a certain realization and you're gonna for example start to networking this uh, information uh, sharing it with friends uh, asking their opinions and um, their advice and you're not gonna get the support there but this doesn't mean that it's not a good uh, awareness or a great new um, let's say, a realization about your prosperity in general, because look at that. Actually, 
this position for you seven of wands to protect anything that it's really really important for you in the money field in your career into your business is going to be supported by the page of wands and this is again your energy and this is again business and money energy very good uh, the ones like all the ones are and this indicates that you're gonna recognize something within yourself or it's something within you is going to be awakened with a brand new fire with a brand new understanding with brand new belief and faith on top of it and it's now the time towards the end of the month when you can actually take tangible material steps moving forward but it's gonna be something let's say not out of not uh, uh, like from zero but it's going to be more or less starting from the very beginning starting from you know maybe with dealing with some insecurity with some um, you know fragile aspects of this thing but remember now is the time and you're going to be protected by doing so and seven of wands and the page of wands these are eight wands that you're gonna have for the let's say the 10 last days of the month of may eight of wands is success with communication success with you moving forward successful short distance travels emails conversations zooms meetings all to do with you spreading this new excitement that i believe you're gonna recognize and you're gonna start build on in this period and you're really gonna utilize this energy to spread the message check who's in who's out you get the idea and move forward because eight of wands presented by seven and the page of wands it's actually successful moving forward for you in your money in your business in your career in any development to do with your money security on top of no progress being made and finishing with this overall general energy getting excited again for something new and i believe that you literally by moving forward with this new enthusiasm with this new recognized uh, opportunity but on a much more passionate level it's gonna be able to turn this world card in an upright position and then you're gonna have the real green light to move forward i believe that bigger developments for you are most likely to happen not in june to be honest but end of june that's how i feel it this is card of saturn it talks about endings completions of a bigger cycle of a bigger period of your life a chapter there is some work that needs to be done and getting on top in control of your situation whatever that is to increase your money and security is actually developing much better in the month of june and then afterwards may is not the month may is the month for you to get the clarity to understand where are you doing wrong and move and move forward that's what I have for you, Arius. Thank you for your time.